<laughs> G'day folks, I'm Mick from Sale from Iron Man 4x4. Let's discuss the controversial subject of bull bars, underbody plates, side steps, battery equipment, canopies, roof racks, sliding systems, water storage, additional fuel, everything that can be done. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun. Good day folks and welcome to another Ironman 4x4 Tech Talk video. I am Mick. This beanie is not for comic relief. Today has got to be the coldest, wettest day this winter. And those of you that know what I look like without a beanie will know that my inbuilt insulation is running thin. So the beanie is here to stay. We get a hell of a lot of questions from you guys online from our YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, all those uh, nice media platforms. And we just love getting questions from you and we try and answer them as best as we can. But some questions keep popping up because there is just so much misinformation on the internet. And I've decided for today's video to answer some of those questions for you. And uh, instead of going into a lengthy explanation on email or whatever with you, we can just point you in the direction of the uh, YouTube video. So the first question comes from a guy called, in fact, we're going to change the names to protect the innocent. Let's just call him John Smith. Should I turn my snorkel head around when it rains heavily, like it is raining today? And the answer is, in short, no, you shouldn't have to. If it is a Ironman 4x4 snorkel or a safari snorkel, which is very similar in design, you should not have to turn the snorkel head around in a heavy rainstorm. The snorkel was designed to operate as per normal, even when it's raining. If we look at the top of the snorkel here, this is called the snorkel head, this is the snorkel body. Our snorkel heads are removable and they can pop off just like that. I have loosened it before the time though. Um, and what you'll notice about this snorkel head is it has some indentations here around it. And the reason for that is the snorkel head doesn't actually sit on top of the snorkel body. It drops down a fair ways and the top of the snorkel body actually juts up against these indentations. And the reason for that is when you're driving along in the rain like today, you will have some rainwater ingress into this snorkel head. What will happen is that the rain will collect against the back surface of the snorkel head and it will actually drop down past the opening of the snorkel body collect in these wells around the side, and these wells actually have some drainage slots in them, and the water will drain out here. Trust me, it works, that's the way it was designed. However, there is every possibility that some water will be sucked into the actual snorkel body, but it has to travel from here all along the snorkel body and then into the air filter housing of the vehicle. And by that time, whatever droplets did get inside the snorkel body would have evaporated. Notwithstanding everything that I've told you, it's possible that some water will still get into the air box of the vehicle. And the vehicle manufacturer has actually taken care of that because in the bottom of the air box is a drainage hole. So any water that does perhaps get into the filter housing will drain out through a hole in the bottom of the filter housing. Let me show you what that looks like. So the snorkel body comes along the fender of the vehicle. This connecting pipe takes the air to the air box. If we flip up the air box, take the filter out. Inside we will notice that drainage hole that I was speaking about. There is however one instance when you would want to turn the head of your snorkel around and that is if you find yourself in a snowstorm or driving through snow. Snow is a solid, it's not a very hard solid unless you get a snowball against the face but it is a solid nonetheless and it will pretty quickly block up your snorkel head causing a blockage in the airflow going into the motor of the vehicle. In the case of the Ironman 4x4 snorkel, during a snowstorm, undo this clamp, swing the snorkel head around, and remember to tighten it up again. But getting back to the original question, during rain, no need to do it, it was designed to cope with the rain. Hope you enjoyed this video, look out for the next one.